And I am so excited to see you today. To get things started, I'm thinking that it's time to shout out super duper loud, hey friends, because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want to hear it as loud as you can possibly be. Oh boy, here we go. One, two, three, hey friends. Whoa, <laughs> that was so loud. Nice job. Okay, so today we are going to listen to an amazing Bible story and we get to dance to some rockin' music. But before we do any of that, we're gonna have fun together. But here's the deal. I kind of need your help with something. So I was wondering if we could make a game out of it. Yeah? Okay, so all day long, I've been so excited about playing outside as soon as I get home, but I can't seem to find my coat anywhere. I found a bunch of different coats, but I can't find mine. Do you think you could help me find it? You do? Oh, I am so glad to hear you say that. Okay, so, so what do you think? I guess I just grab a coat and we see if it's mine? Yeah, okay, okay, let's see. Um. Let's, oh, let's try this one. Let's see. Oh, wow. Well, this is a pretty cool looking coat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It looks like someone who drives a big red truck would wear. Not Northy. <laughs> what kind of coat do you think this is? Oh, did you say policeman? Oh, you did it. You did it. You said fireman. Yeah, you are right. Well, yeah, this is a fireman's coat. Definitely not my coat. Okay, now I guess we have to try another coat. Let's see, um, how about one over here? How about, how about this one? Let's try this on. It's a white coat. Okay, that, that could be mine. All right, let's see. Let me just get my arms in here. <laughs> oh, oh, there are even pockets. Whoa. There are band-aids in these pockets. Do you see all these band-aids? Yeah, I do not think that this is my coat. There's, oh, there's even one of these things. Yeah, I think this is a doctor's coat. Definitely not Northy's coat. All right, well, I better take this off because I'm not a doctor. All right, and it looks like we gotta keep trying. Let's see, um, oh, well, this one looks pretty cool. <laughs> How about this coat? Try this out here. Oh, kind of looks like the doctor's coat, but but it doesn't have pockets, so I know it's not a doctor's. Wow! Whoa! Hiya! Whoa! Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay, it's like as soon as I put this on, hiya! Whoa! I can't seem to stop kicking. Okay, well, yeah, I don't think this is my coat. Uh, I think this is a karate coat, and I better take this off before I hurt somebody. <laughs> yeah, definitely not my coat. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep looking for my coat. Which one should I try next? Oh, yeah, this one looks pretty good. Oh, it's pink. Okay, well, well, let's see here. All right, and if I squeeze my head through, oh, you think it's the perfect fit? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, I do not think that this is my coat. I think this is a teeny tiny coat. All right, well, friends, look, we found a fireman's coat. We found a doctor's coat. We found a karate coat, and we even found a tiny coat, but we haven't found my coat. Okay, well, I'm getting a little sad, but that's okay. I think, I think we can still find it. Do you see any other coats I could try on? Oh, oh, you do? Well, where, where, where's the coat? Over here? Oh, whoa. Okay, well, well, this one actually looks pretty good. It kind of looks like it could be my coat, but there's only one way to find out. I, I have to try it on. Okay, let's see. Okay, oh, it looks nice and warm. Oh, wow, this is soft. Oh, friends, okay. 
okay. It's it seems to fit okay, and and no band aids in the pockets. And oh, look, there's even a hood. <laughs> I think we did it. I think you helped me find my coat. Yay! And now I cannot wait to go play outside as soon as I get home. See, I knew we could have fun while you were helping me. And now. The fun's not over yet because it is time to listen to an amazing Bible story just for you. So take a seat and get comfy and let me see your hands and open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey friends, my name is Sabrina and I'm so excited to be here with you today because I get to share something with you. Something that I read in my favorite book. Do you remember what that book is called? You guessed it, it's the Bible. And the Bible is really important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So. I was reading in my Bible all about this one guy. He was like a little guy. And then there was another guy. He was like a big guy. I mean, like a really, really, really big guy. And there was stuff flying all around. I'm going to tell you all about it. So in my Bible, I read about a boy named David. And David was small and he was kind of young. But David was one of God's people. But God's people? were in trouble because there was also a giant. No, a giant. This giant's name was Goliath and he was over nine feet tall. Yeah. That's more like it. This giant had a ginormous sword. <sighs> and he had a really big spear. <gasps> and he had a huge shield. Wow. God's people did not want to fight a giant with huge weapons. But David? David wasn't scared because David knew that God would be with him. Every day, that giant Goliath would yell at God's people <laughs> and he would call them names and tease them. <laughs> they didn't think that they would be able to fight a giant and win, but not David. All the rest of the people thought that David was too young and that he was too small. And Goliath, well, he was big and he was too strong. But David knew that God was with him and it didn't matter to God if David was young and it didn't matter to God if David was small. He knew that God loved him and would be with him. He knew that he could defeat that giant if God was with him. So David picked up five stones can you count the stones with me? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five stones. And he picked up those stones and he put them in his pouch. And he took one of those stones and put it in a sling. And he swung it around and around and around. And that rock flew and hit Goliath right in the forehead. Goliath fell down and David won! David knew that God was with him and loved him no matter what. See, it didn't matter if David was big or small or brave or scared because God loved him no matter what. And God loves you no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're a really great listener or if you have some trouble listening, and it didn't matter if you were happy or if you were sad or if you were a little mad because God loves you no matter what, and God loves me no matter what. 
let's pray and thank God for loving us no matter what. If you're ready, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so, so much for making us just the way we are. And thank you for loving us no matter what. We love you so much, God. Amen. See, David was really, really small, but he did something that was so, so big. I'm going to remember that all week long. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, friends. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. You know, I loved listening to it with you. And now it's time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. And I can't wait. So stand up on your feet and let's dance. Bye, friends. When I feel sad and I need a friend God turns it all around and helps me smile again When I get so mad or do something wrong He loves me still